So this next exercise we're going to do is a great exercise for identifying the elements of three beats. And you say, well, why would you do that? Because as drummers, one of the things that really uh, challenge is that we gravitate toward the one. We always think that the one is the most important part of the rhythm. But it's important to know where the other elements, other elements are as well. And in this exercise, we are going to identify them two ways. One is calling them by their rhythmic language, goon, go, do. But I'm also going to use ga, ma, la as a way of identifying where they are in the line of three elements. You'll see more about this as we develop this exercise. So please just start with your cross pattern. Now, one thing you can do that's helpful is you can look at your hands on the drum. You'll see that every time you play the goon, your hand moves toward the center, right? Goon, 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 goon. Now, when you start on your right hand, the first go is on your left. Go, do, go, do. Then the go, do switch. If you're starting on your left, the first go, do is on your right. But as we switch from goon, go, do, goon, go, do to our vocables, our rhythm syllables, we can identify gamma. The first thing we want to do is find the element called la, the furthest away from the goon. So if you're looking at your hands and your right hand started, your first la would be on your right hand. La. La, 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 la. Now you can go back to all three elements. Gamma, la, gamma, la, gamma, la, gamma, la, gamma, la, gamma. Very easy flow. Now let's find the ma which is right after the one. Ma, 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 ma. You could say two, two. Ma, ma. And then once you've found that element, please go back to all three. Gamala, gamala, or one, two, three, or goon, go, do, goon, go. Now, obviously, the next one, if we're traveling back from the la to the ma, is the ga, which is our one. So let's visit the ga. Very easy to find. Ga. Ga. It's where our bass note is. Ga. 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 Gamala. Gamala. The last of our exercise is to find the la before the one. Before that right hand starts, there's a la because this rhythm is never ending. Let's see if you can find it. La, 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 la. The next thing I suggest is that we practice fading out. The fade out is a really magical thing. It's where we take the rhythm that we're hearing and start to make it softer. 
and softer. And as we do, we really create a nice mood. As you just allow your movements to get softer and softer, you could imagine that this is like music fading out into the background, going further and further out into the sunset. It also allows you to start to control the difference between playing loudly and playing softly. And as you start to get softer and softer on the drum, see if you can feel the rhythm more clearly from your inner rhythmic voice.